Ring, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds. Opening three minutes of this ten round fight. The kid's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Nice combination, throwing more than one, both scored there. Keep pushing. Able to dismiss that body shot. Teddy, I've heard you say so many times when, when you talk about upper body and head movement defensively is, hey, don't worry about missing by this much, just miss by a little bit. Yeah, that's being a real pro. If you make a miss by too much, by the time you come back to get the other end of it, He's not there. You're not going to catch him. You want to make a miss just enough. It's just as safe whether you make a miss by a mile or by an inch. But if you make a miss by an inch, you can come back and count him. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Able to get rid of that one. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. Well, you can see what he wants. The kid's scoring with that right hand. And he scores with a three-punch combo. That's an illegal shot. That was a low blow, and the ref was out of position. Just completely missed it. Good step-back counterpunch there. Up top with the right hand. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. Final 10 seconds of round number one. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot. It's a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending point gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the kid. Side to side. Oh. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Comes with the right. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. The kid's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Way to block there. The ref looks the other way there. What, what is he not seeing there? That was undoubtedly an intentional low blow. Keep it up. Now there's the jab. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the kid. Hey, 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 he digs go. in, trying to bank away body shots down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round.
Teddy, you've made the point a few times that, hey, it's nice to have something where you got the superior advantage. In this case, he's got the speed. But you can't fall in love with it too much. No, because what happens then, you're like a teenager that gets one of those sport cars. You know, he gets carried away. He doesn't respect the speed yet. And he starts to run red lights. He starts to do things that he shouldn't do. And that's what's happening here. He's starting to jump in with those quick hands. He figures he doesn't have to respect the dimensions other guys have to. And when he's jumping in, he might get caught. There might be a cop there or a punch there to nail him. and he is hurt oh he's hurt right there he is hurt joe in this kind of situation it's kind of like a wounded animal yeah you can go after but you better be careful because his big big shot comes crashing home he never saw that one coming now he's got to look up at the ceiling and right now he's thinking about his choice of work able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Fourth round is underway. Teddy's scorecard reads three rounds to zip against him. You know, I think if you told him before the fight you're going to throw more punches than your opponent, he'd feel good. But right now, it's not working. Well, I think he's looking to take a picture. He's looking to go to a studio and do a photo shoot because somebody should tell him that after you throw a punch, you're not supposed to pose. The kid's got those earmuffs on, and he's got his hands tight against his body. But, Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe, you know, and the, the weather's a little bad, and you say, I, I want to be safe here, I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. Keep moving. Look at that. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? <gasps> One, two, three, four. For even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Kids doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then... Go, oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for me. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, see, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Stay away. You got these one. More than one, and it's just what he wants. The kid's been stunned. Wow! Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got four. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. gonna continue on here and if he's gonna stay in this fight now he's gonna avoid his opponent like the black plague the kids at his best 
when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. You see him holding on. The kid's opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. Go, go. What a big shot. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. The fight is over. But we have knockouts. You're winner.